God's teaching versus man's teaching. Who are you going to believe? Genesis 1.29 says, And God said, remember, God said, Behold, I, if you don't believe it, that's on you. But God said, I have given you every herb. Remember, every herb bearing seed, bearing seed, remember that, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree, remember that, every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. Remember, the fruits and the vegetables, the herbs yield seed or it has a seed that comes attached to it. To you it shall be for food or meat. But man says, seedless fruits is good for us. But look, look what God just said. He created every seed, herb, fruit, tree. It bears a seed. It comes with a seed. So you can replant it every year, basically. But man is saying, eat genetically modified seedless fruits. That is, they even got organic seedless fruits. How can it be organic if it's seedless? That's delusion. But God said I was sending them strong delusion that they would believe a lie. So are you going to continue eating seedless fruits that came from the devil through man? The, the doctrine of demons that's teaching us these lies? Or you want to eat what God created? Oh, I eat seedless grapes because it's just so easy to chew. I can swallow it without swallowing seeds. A, 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 a tree is going to grow inside of me if I eat the seed. Come on. That's just foolish thinking. But but I pray that you all be blessed, dressed less, and always depressed less in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please share this message not for my glory, but to share God's truth in Jesus' name. Be blessed, dressed less, and always depressed less in the